Hey. Looking good. Guessing y'all can see everything all right. I'm assuming. No. This is more of an assumption thing. Okay. So, I said I was gonna do an I Expect You to Die playthrough in my last video. And that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna play I Expect You to Die. As you know, like, why would we not? And as you can see, I've already kind of played it on my computer here. Like, I've got some of the collectibles. Oh yeah, another thing I did realize, I was right. So on the last one, I was like, oh, things collide with the table. Did that happen the first one? No, it didn't. It all just goes straight through. Which is, I guess you can't do that. So yeah, we're gonna start with the first thing that you open to the credit. Now everyone's probably seen these at some point because they are quite literally the best thing in all of existence. So let's go. Wait for that to blow. First time you've run up the game, this is what you see. Oh yeah. you to die. you to die. So yeah, guys, that right there is what made I Expected to Die different from literally everything else. Now, usually you go through spy training, which basically says, this is how not to die, right? And I'm going to clean my lenses really quick while I talk to you guys. But, um, so, 
what made I expect to be so special is that that is opening credit scene is just completely amazing. It looks kind of lame outside of VR, but when you're in VR, that is the coolest thing. So, the first mission should be Operation Friendly Skies. We're calling this mission Operation Friendly Skies. I hope you like cars and airplanes, and cars in airplanes. Dr. Zor, corporate billionaire by day, underhanded villain by night, has a cargo plane scheduled to depart for Zanzibar this very evening. We need you to infiltrate the plane before it takes off, gain access to the vehicle held within, and drive it right off the airplane. Our intel assures us Zor's car is equipped to handle a fall from any height, so we're almost positive you won't die. So, Press now... Press the start button to begin your mission. Now, everything in this game will be... Pretty sorry about that, you guys. Had a little bit of a technical issue. Hopefully it works. Come on, come back. I'm going to... All right, so I think we're back. I think we're good. Just gonna relaunch. Um, he's not receiving. Um, I think we're good. Maybe we're good. Hopefully we're good. I think we're good, guys. Okay. Okay, so we should be good again. I think we're back, hopefully. Now, I'm not, Welcome I'm not gonna stream this because, you enjoyed your nap. And shut up. I'm not gonna, I'm streaming this because I have no intent, because it's a lot of effort to edit each one of these parts individually. And I just don't feel like doing it. Uh, so we're just gonna stream it. Oh. All right, let's start Operation Friendly Skies. Where it went. There it is. We're calling this. Now, like I said, so these might go just a little bit quicker. You may be wondering why this car can never reach Zanzibar. It has some of the most high-tech weaponry in Doctor Zor's considerable arsenal. Naturally, we'd like to poke at it a bit, drive it off the plane, and you may just earn that vacation you're always going on about. Oh yeah, you can also kill yourself in this if you feel like it, but we're not going to, so, you know, I'm going to start off and have a glass of champagne, or flying to Zanzibar, you know, might as well get fancy.
And so, like I was saying, it might go a little bit quicker because I know, since I've played the game, I kind of know how everything works. But, like, I was talking about how, like, my other one, you had to defuse a bomb. And this is what I was talking about because it tells you how to arm it. So if you just do it in reverse, it, you know, does everything for you. And... Intruder detected. Present eye for retina scan. Scan failed. Targeting. Laser avoided. Deploying secondary countermeasures. <laughs> You'll need to cut those wires, Agent. There is a pocket knife somewhere. Where is that? Well... I don't know where it is. So... Three... Two, one. Here we go. No Just ticking arm. is good ticking, as they say. Now, can we please focus on getting the car out of the plane? I think it's actually in the glove box. Yeah, there it is. See. Ripping the pocket knife. All right. So, uh, and there are certain audio cues that'll play like that. You know. Smoking may cause a slow and painful death. But there's audio cues that'll play that base that lets you know whenever those play, that lets you know you've done something to get an extra item. Um, and I realized that in the other, and when we were playing, it made a certain audio cue, and I didn't realize it at the time. But watching back the f footage, I was like, "That's gonna be the audio cue." Like when it was when, after I put everything on my face. Oh. But after I put like all the dress up stuff on my face, it played an audio cue, and that's what it was. <laughs> System resetting. Weapons online. There we go. I think there's an achievement to do this. There it is. That will teach Zor to use his car as a piggy bank. Yeah, there you go. Next message. Zor, there is an urgent matter. We Deploying scorpions. Okay, so. So, in the game, after you beat it, there's a commentary option, so you can listen to all the develop- The developers talk about different things. That's apparently straw wrappers, and apparently I learned that the voice messages are actual voice messages, like, they set up a phone number for people to call, they could call it, and whenever they did call it, it would, uh... They could, uh... Unconventional, but then again, convention never was your strong suit. You'd better drive the car off the plane before something else explodes. No, but no, not I can't make that fly. Oh well. Well, if we're going out of here. We're going down, windows down. Here we go. Mission one done. Parachutes deployed. And if you do them all, Another successful mission. I don't know why it's so dark, what about but that vacation. I'm a if you do them all in a certain time, you'll get like a scorpion over here. We finished dissecting Zor's car, and only two technicians died in the process. A new record. A few of Zor's car phone messages were from the head of a pharmaceutical company that produces lady shampoo. I hope they have plenty on hand, because things are about to get hairy. I wasn't going to speedrun it, but I'm going to try to now. I'm going to try to speedrun this. Maybe one of the this car can never
never reach Zanzibar. It has some of the most effective weaponry in Dr. Zoro's considerable scan. arsenal. Naturally, we'd like to poke scan. at it a bit. Drive it off System the system, and you may Weapons just earn online. that vacation you're always going on Deploying about. secondary countermeasures. Ha <laughs> ha, the old ticking bomb. I'm part... No ticking is good ticking, as they say. Now... A bit unconventional. Got it. I think that, that's gotta be gold. Parachutes deployed. No! I think I was two seconds over. God dang it. We oh well. It's fine. It'll be alright. Uh... So, it was Friendly Skies. Oh, it's on the very oh, closing credits. It's Friendly Skies. Then it was... I think it was Squeaky Clean next. It was Squeaky Clean or Winter Lodge, and I'm pretty sure it was this. We believe Zoraxis is creating a deadly super virus. We know Zor wants revenge on the agency, but this is a tad extreme. Get into that lab, Reach and I'll walk you through making an So I'm not saying this is a guaranteed, but I've done, I've thought about it a lot, and apparently this is supposed to be like directly across from the agency, and I'm pretty sure the agency is right there, because it says like Sashello, which is like, it's, it's kind of like a modification name of the developers, right? Uh. Laser trip. ID accepted. Security disabled. Uh, so. Full disclosure, agent. I don't really know how to make an antivirus. Well, However, we're gonna figure it out. Sean in HR you. says you tested well in chemistry. So give it a go. Save millions of lives and don't blow yourself up. I thought I was hoping that would kind of go through there, but it's not. So first we have to make the thing melt copper so we can get... Coffee break first. Okay, so. We need this too. Just no copper. We need blue. Actually, I need to turn everything on and reset it. So we need blue, green, and Y. Just red. Agent, you've been spotted. Quick, act naturally. They ran off. I always knew you were intimidating. It's yep. your stoic silence. All right, so we need this, this, and this. And that's the antivirus. I don't remember if you need two of those. Because you have to scan it over there. That doesn't do anything. I thought it did. What about heating it up? Nope, it doesn't do anything either. Okay. This. We'll just leave it over there. And I need another one to melt copper. And an explosion one, I think. In N, N, and GI. So, yellow and blue. Because uh, you'll see why in a minute, I guess. And then, again, one to melt copper. And the one to melt copper was GI, A, R, and Y. So, 
green, blue, and red. Green, or not, <laughs> blue, green, and red. Okay. I think that's everything I need on this. Also, if you're wondering what these are, they're just like smoke. Okay, so here's my plan. Great, it's a great plan. Neutralization attempt blocked. Playing pre-recorded message. Found a conscience despite our threats. Well, I'm afraid you won't have a chance to use your antivirus. We're changing the timetable and launching the super virus today. Here it goes. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Bring it out, bring it out, bring it out. I'm gonna miss probably. I think this works. Deploying rocket boosters. Copper. If that rocket launches with an active virus, millions will die. Neutralize Launched that virus now. <laughs> Got it. Five, four, three, two, Fire in the hole. People in that poor building. Well done, agent. There will be no outbreak today. Let's get yeah, you out of there. That was just like a literal just 9-11 attack right there. We're just not going to mention that. A bit of bad news. Your test scores for window washing came back. It seems breaking a window is generally frowned upon while washing it. But hey, what's I love all the audio cues, they're really funny. Some of some of them are. While it's squeaky clean. Then I wanna say it's winter break. And then I think it's deep dive. Could be wrong. You've certainly made yourself comfortable in Zor's private hunting lodge. I hear the agency is handing out lodges just like this one to any agent who finds the new machine Zor is working on. If I were you, I'd find that machine. No, it's eight. I know it's eight, six something. Wait, I think it's eight. Maybe it's eight, three, six. I know it's those numbers, though. Uh, six, eight, three. Six, eight. Three, three, eight, six. There it is. We need this. I'm also gonna agency lighter. He has that in there for some reason. That tells you boom, boom, bad. We want to do two things super quick. You don't got to deal with them in a minute. Light the deer on fire. And then break the bear. And also, I'm going to light them on fire because I feel like it. Get that open. Have some alcohol. And then light it ablaze. I just burned some money. That was kind of funny. What a disappointment. I light more logs on fire. Yes, you most definitely can. I light them on fire with my lighter, I wonder. Oh my god, you can. That's amazing. And also a hat for me. I like hats. Door alarm triggered. Deer gas activated. Yep. Lovely. Control cartridge accepted. Voice authentication required. Authentication failure. Deploying bear archer. Bear disarmed. Yep. Security malfunction. Insert data sphere override. This doesn't go well. I'm sure it's fine with you. There it is. 
It's just as we feared. Zor's new device appears to have the power to affect gravity. We must destroy that machine. I've noticed you can't resist burning most things you find. To be honest, it's an unsettling Crystal body. unstable. Machine malfunction. Laser defense mode one. Okay. Zor certainly knows you're there now. We're sending a helicopter to extract you. That machine must be destroyed before it arrives. Crystal Good. unstable. Laser defense mode two. <laughs> Your helicopter's arrived, but it can't get close until you destroy that machine. Yes, I'm aware, I'm aware. Yeah, I'm aware. I'm actively working on it. Crystal unstable. Go. We're leaving, we're leaving in style, boys. My lighter go. Nicely done. There's nothing like an explosive finish to foil a villain's plans once and for all. Now, grab that retrieval line, and we'll get you out of there. Good stuff. News, agent. As everyone knows, you are my third favorite field operative. What? As such, I managed to find some money in the budget for that vacation you always mention after uh -oh. nearly dying. Grab the new reel in the door, and we'll be off and running. I did it wrong. So, it should have been deep dive, then winter break, which I kind of thought it was, but I wasn't sure, because this came later down the road, Operation First Class or Vacation, I guess. So, it would... Th these two should be right next to each other, but I did it wrong. So it's fine. We'll do deep dive. It's all right if we're doing a little bit out of order. It has, it, we get the same premise across, I guess. Okay. Get that close. I always really like this level. I just Welcome to enjoy our state-of-the-art Zoraxis escape pod. An explosion has disabled primary functions. That's just this well. This is an emergency. Yep. Please start engine manual. Not the oh, stuck my nut. Hole secure. Stuck my fucking nut. Hole secure. Let me do my work. Escape pod drained. Okay, we've done that. You actually can do this one with the bottle too, but put you in there. Okay. So we're just gonna put we're gonna put it here. Uh Okay, I gotta remember, so Turn dial to number, set Q for odd, Z for even. All right, I got it. I'm ready. I think we've got everything we need. Oh yeah, I should probably open that up. Very careful.
where was it? In here. It's in here. Good stuff. Good deal. All right, let's go. Let's get out of here, I guess. Engine running. It'll overheat in here in a little bit, which is why I turn this on. Otherwise, you gotta like. That easy? The engine is engaged, and we are starting our set. Yeah. Just sit back and Would you like to vent oxygen? Vent, yes. Vent, 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 venting oxygen. Oh shoot. All right, let's just worry about this. Seven. Seven cubes per odd. Seven. Two. Five. Three. Five digit code required. Eight. Self-destruct aboard. Our communications are back online, Agent. Signal us to let us know your location. Ah, there you are, Agent. We thought we'd lost you to the wilds of the Caribbean. We're approaching your position now. Atlas. I love that mission. It's always been one of my favorites. The so we've done all those. Transmitted from the sun now it's first class. It the... This one takes me a little bit to do every time. I still don't know what this does. Oh, it gives you something with the agency logo on it. That's what it does. Alright, there's that. Good deal. Oh, you gotta burn this. One, two, three. All right, now I somehow... I forget. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's how I do it. Buttons, buttons on the wall. Light them up, well done. not them all. I have a small favor to ask that has nothing to do with work. Great job. Not that this is a job, obviously. Before getting back to enjoying your very real vacation, find out which cabin the defector is in and send Five. him something with the agency logo on it. Listen closely. I'm only going to explain this once. I need to know I can trust you. Send me the pardon, and I will... Oh, thank you. 
I can now pursue my music wherever it takes me. The device I sent has what you want. The combination is the date of my birthday. And Good. She's dead. I can't believe it. They killed her. I think it's like... Get that device open, Agent. Two, one, one. Yep. Well done. One last thing. Insert that. Perfect. We're receiving the data. Hmm. Transmitting it has apparently alerted Zor's assassins to your position. Good for them. Yeah. Uh, r room service. Oh. Ah, the old gun through the mail slot trick. I used to do that at the office when I was an agent. I was asked to stop. Ah, the old spear through the ceiling trick. Never got a chance to do that one at the office. Hey, old man, I'm just trying to enjoy my cigarette. Smoke, smoke, smoke that cigarette. Puff, puff, puff it in. You smoke yourself to death. Tell St. Peter at the Golden Gate that you hate to make him wait. It would seem Zora underestimated both of us. Yeah. You impress me. But let's not celebrate quite yet. Zor's backup is on its way. We've received reports of a low-flying aircraft in your area. Pilots these days, don't they know that could be dangerous? I'm sure they do. Got him. Here he comes. Damn. Just like in the movies. <laughs> I'm free. I would tell you to come find me someday, but I get the impression you couldn't leave this life behind. So instead, I will just say thank you and goodbye. Dang, I was gonna try to boil that up. Frick you, lady. Okay, so now we're done with that. Alright, there's that. Now it's seat of power. Yes, our train defector had information about Zor's next big move. It's something called the Death Engine, and you must get more intel on it before it's put to use. We'll I'll probably die on this one. It usually takes me a minute to... I know how to do it, but it's kind of annoying. Not that I worry about Zor's collection, but do try not to make too much noise. Welcome, Dr. Zor. <gasps> you were Zor all along. <laughs> Seriously, remember what you're after, Agent. It's the Death Engine. Lockdown mode engaged. Notifying security personnel. Ah, the purring of a combination lock mechanism. Unmistakable. But sometimes I do miss field work. You don't miss it, Q. Warning. Death engine data reel removed. 
That's the intel we need. Now, find a way to get it out of there intact. Launch, launch now. Oh, God dang it. I got so close. I was hoping. Well done sneaking in. We know that death engine intel is somewhere in here. Not that I worry about Zor's connection, yeah, but do try not to make too much noise. Welcome, Dr. Zor. Yep, it's me. Lockdown mode engaged. Notifying security personnel. You can actually do this one without the, uh, without this, but I don't know how they do it. Ah, the purring of a combination lock mechanism. Unmistakable. Sometimes I do this field work. That's the intel we need. Now, find a way to get it out of there intact. Alright, there's that one. Final mission. Well done retrieving the That was kinda the weird because you retrieved from Madrid revealed that the death engine is a weapon that appears to be well in Earth's orbit. You must infiltrate Zorax's space corporation. We don't know where the weapon is aiming, but we must stop it before it fires. You took a pass-fail elective in astronomy, yes? Well, I hope you passed. Did we... Yeah, so you like get the information and then you come here and you... Here we go, end of the game. Infiltrate. I didn't think you'd hijack a personnel shuttle. <clears throat> I'm impressed. Our intelligence tells us the death engine is run by a single Zoraxis operative who will likely mistake you for a hench person. Remember, Agent, destroy the death engine at all costs. Personnel shuttle, you're cleared for docking. Come in, shuttle. Hello? Of course, they send me an assistant at the worst possible time. Please for impact! Death engine activation. Is that a Glorious, isn't she? I get chills every time she fires. Not to self. Check on fuses and adjust risk assessment calculations. Chances of the shuttle surviving next blast are well low. And now I don't have to worry about oxygen again. Okay, we don't need air locks. Don't need life support. This is Death Engine Commander Solaris. Clearance 20R7. Yes, they're here now. What? I'm looking right at them. They're in a Zoraxis personnel shuttle. Yes, I can wait. Dr. Zor, uh, what a uh, unexpected surprise. Got it. <laughs> Obviously. 
Maybe. The time is one. Oh crap! One. Maybe. I'll take care of this. Seven. I Understood. I said I understand. Well, well, well. You're far from home, aren't you, Agent? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Shut up. I think impressive. If anything, I appreciate your efficiency, Agent. I knew people wouldn't take Z mail security seriously. Not the right one. Just keep that dog for draining your bathroom. I cannot let you use that manipulator. Agent, I enjoyed your bumbling, but enough is enough. Yep, will do. I love the music cue with this. I love how the audio just cues, see? I actually think there's actually two ways you can beat this. So in here, there's like this gravity crystal and you can throw it out through the airlock and grab it and blow it up that way. And good serving with you boys. Also, she's the same lady that sings the opening theme. Agent, are you there? No, I'm not there. You. You. All right, let's just watch through the credits. <laughs> this was an amazing game. Nope, do not skip the credit. All's well that ends well, as they say. You've escaped in a pod in the Caribbean. Blew up a lodge in the Alps, crash landed a car in exotic Zanzibar, broke a window on a building down the street, enjoyed a relaxing vacation, piloted a flying armchair, and explored the very cosmos. I must admit, I expected you to die at some point, and in a way, you did. Till next time, Agent. The original name, but yeah, see what I'm saying? He said, I expect you to die in a way you kind of did, and I don't get what that's saying. Dude, this game was just completely amazing. It's a, a work of art in itself. It's just ideas amazing. And now you see why I can't wait for the next one. I expect you to die too. Woo! It can't come any quicker. Oh yeah, and one of the ladies that... The lady that was talking at the end of the game on uh, the last mission, she's the same lady that sang the opening credits, too. And I really was trying to figure out if she was the lady that was talking at the start of the other game, because it because your the guy in your ear says, um, I that voice sounds familiar, and I really sat there and thought, is it the same lady from the death engine? But I don't think oh you just almost died, but I don't think it is. Speed of Power was a really good one. Yeah, your support agent. Jared Mason's the guy that does that. He's the... Yeah. He's the goat man. Death Engine was really good. Commander Solor Solaris? I expect, and see, we knew there was a second one, because this is at the end of the credits, I expect you to die, will return. And I remember when I first did it, I was sitting here and I was like, dang. You've finally done it, Agent. You're dead. Well, officially dead. Not to worry, this is a development we plan to fully take advantage of. I dare say it was a close call for us down here as well. Still, 
All's well that ends well, though I must confess, I really did expect you to die. But yeah, you see, I was, oh. Yeah, when you beat the game, you can turn on commentary and they and it'll comment on different things, but it was, oh my goodness. Oh, that was such a good game. What on earth? Oh, hey, this is the commentary note I made way back when to prototype commentary notes. Congrats on finding it, I guess? On I Expect You to Die, we designers would often write really hacky code in order to test ideas before tech went through and made less janky final versions. Commentary notes were no different. Well, I didn't even know that was down there. One of the problems we had to solve on I Expect You to Die was objects getting hidden behind other objects in a level. Players would constantly lose objects behind desks and chairs while solving the puzzle. Using physics raycast against every object in the scene to determine if the player can see it wasn't a viable solution due to performance concerns. Instead, we came up with an approximation called hidden volumes. A hidden volume is essentially a trigger volume that does two things when an object falls into it. First, it applies a special extra shader to the object so that it can be seen through other objects. And then, it puts the object on a separate physics layer which allows the player to highlight and pick up objects through other objects. Oh, cool. But yeah, now even like in this game, your glove the glove just looks so much better than I expect you to die too. Everything seems a lot better. I'm so excited, and like I said, we knew I expect you to die too was coming because again at the end of the credits it was like I expect you to die will return. And whenever I first beat the game, I was like, wait, wait a minute, hold up. So you're telling me, right? It was super cool to me, and I'm just Alrighty guys, I guess that'll do it for this stream here. I'm gonna go check out live chat really quick. Um, literally no one's here. Amazing. So yeah guys, that took about an hour. We got the entire game completed right there, right then. I Expect You to Die is po quite possibly one of my favorite games of all time. And I hope you guys really did enjoy it too. Um, again, when I Expect You to Die 2 comes out, I'll be streaming that like there's no tomorrow. Uh... Or I might, I'll probably do Let's Plays of it. Either way, I hope you guys did happen to enjoy this video. If you did, please consider subscribing. Uh, and hit that like button.